Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain knowing the trigonometric ratio of an angle, how to find the trigonometric ratios of its half angle. So let us proceed in different methods. First with our usual known method. So this is some horizontal line to this. This is making an angle alpha and this is making an angle beta. So consider some point P on this one. So draw perpendicular from P to the horizontal line. Let the foot of the perpendicular be some M. Let this point be O. Now from our definitions of sine and cos, sine of alpha plus beta I can write opposite side that is PM by hypotenuse is OP. Similarly, cos of alpha plus beta I can write adjacent side is OM by hypotenuse is OP. Now I want to expand, I mean I want to derive how to expand it. So let us draw perpendicular from this point P to this line. Let it be N. Draw perpendicular from N to the horizontal line. Let it be some L. Draw perpendicular from N to PM. Let it be some K. Now you see, I want to find angle KPN. What is this angle? You see, PN is perpendicular to ON, right? And uh, PM is perpendicular to OL. So angle between ON and OL is alpha. So angle between their perpendiculars, it is also alpha. Angle between PN and PM is also alpha. So I can write now angle KPN is equal to alpha. So this angle is alpha. Now let us proceed, you see, suppose cos alpha plus beta. This is OM by OP. OM I shall write as OL minus ML by OP. So let us split it OL by OP minus ML I can write KN by OP. Now here, OL by OP, this ratio I multiply with uh, ON and divide with ON. So I am writing this as OL by ON into ON by OP. So finally, OI cancelling ON it will be OL by OP only. Similarly, KN by OP I am writing as So Kn by OP I am writing as Kn by Pn into Pn by OP means I have multiplied and divided with the term Pn. So what is OL by ON? OL by ON. OL by this ON. By definition, it is adjacent by hypotenuse, it is cos alpha. What is ON by OP? You see, ON by OP in the triangle ONP is adjacent by hypotenuse, it is cos beta. KN by PN in the triangle, small triangle KPN, KN by PN is opposite by hypotenuse for alpha. So it is sin alpha and Pn by OP. Pn by OP in the triangle OPN you see Pn by OP for beta Pn is opposite side. So it will be sin beta. We all know this expansion. Anyway, I am deriving now. First of 
alpha plus beta will be equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. So, substituting uh, alpha and equal to beta, put alpha equal to beta, say some theta, cos of theta plus theta will be equal to cos theta into cos theta minus sin theta into sin theta. So this will be equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. So cos of theta plus theta will get cos 2 theta equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Writing cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta will get it is 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Or sin square theta if you write as 1 minus cos square theta will get it as 2 cos square theta minus 1. So knowing the trigonometric ratio of 2 theta, I can find the trigonometric ratios of theta, I mean its half value. So I want to find 22 end of degrees value. In place of theta, if I substitute 22 end of degrees, cos of 45 degrees will be equal to 1, min, 1 minus Two sine square of one to end of degrees. So from this I can find sine to end of degrees. So this is one by root two equal to one minus two sine square twenty two end of degrees. So 2 sin square of 22 n of degrees is equal to 1 minus 1 by root 2. Or am I right? Root 2 minus 1 by root 2. So from this sin 22 n of degrees value, whole root of root 2 minus 1 by root 2. Similarly, 15 degrees value, knowing 30 degrees value, we can find 15 degrees value. Now let us try to find these things in a different manner. So for 15 degrees, this procedure is only for 15 degrees, let us see. So consider a square. These are all geometry based methods, which we are going to see now. At the side of the square B, some one, one unit or anything A you may assume. So what is the largest equilateral triangle that can be inscribed in this square? Can you think of it? So this will be something like this. So this is the largest equilateral triangle that can be inscribed in a square. Now let this length be x. So the remaining length is 1 minus x it is also 1 minus x. So because it is an isosceles triangle, 90 by an angle is 90, the remaining angles are 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So the hypotenuse will be equal to 1 minus x into root 2. Next, because it is equal triangle, all the sides are equal, that is 1 minus x into root 2, 1 minus x into root 2. Now in this triangle, say A, B, C, apply Pythagoras theorem to find the value of x. So 1 square plus x square is equal to 1 minus x into root 2, whole square that is, 2 into 1 minus x whole square. So that is 2 into 1 plus x square minus 2x. So expanding you will get 2 plus 2x square minus 4x. 
So taking these terms, uh, right side, you'll get a quadratic equation x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus b, that is 4, plus or minus root of b square, that is 16, minus 4ac is 4 by 2. So this is 4 plus or minus root 12 by 2, cancelling 2, you'll get a 2 plus or minus root 3. Now let us see the angles in this one now. It is 60 degrees, it is 60 degrees, it is 60 degrees, because it is equilateral triangle. So here 45 degrees and 60 degrees if it is removed, in the total 180 you will get this remaining angle as 75 degrees, is anywhere 90. So this will be equal to 15 degrees. Now in the triangle ABC, what is tan 15 degrees is equal to you see, it is simply x by 1 that is x itself. So what is the value of x you will consider here, you consider as 2 minus root 3 because tan 15 degrees is uh, less than tan, tan 45 degrees that is 1. So I should not consider plus value 2 plus root 3 is greater than 1. So I take a negative sign. So this is a pure geometric way of finding the tan 15. From this we can find sin 15 and cos 15. Now let us see another method of finding half angles. We all know vertical angle bisector theorem you see. Suppose I take a 45 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees triangle. So let the sides be some a, a, so this will be now root 2 a. So I mean knowing the sides of the triangle 45 degrees, 45 degrees 90, I want to find the trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees by 2, that is 22 and long. So let us draw angular bisector of 45 degrees. So let it some A, B, C. Let this angular bisector intersects A, C at some D. Now, you know, vertical angular bisector theorem, angular bisector divides the side in the ratio of the other two sides, that is, AD by DC will be equal to AB by BC that is A by root 2A that is 1 by root 2. So this entire length AC which is A we have to divide in the ratio of 1 is to root 2. So dividing you will get each is some AD equal to A into 1 by 1 plus root 2 and dc equal to a into root 2 by 1 plus root 2. So the value of ad is now a by 1 plus root 2. Now let us take the triangle abd. In triangle abd, this angle is 22 and now degrees because it is a bisector. So tan of 22 tan of degrees I am writing, anything tan, cot, anything you may write. So it will be equal to AD by AB. So AD is A by 1 plus root 2 by A. So we will get 1 by 1 plus root 2 or rationalizing this, you know, we will get root 2 minus 1. So knowing now AB and uh, AD, we can find this value BD by applying Pythagoras theorem. Again, by drawing the bisector to this angle 22 and of degrees, the same method we follow to find the trigonometric ratios of half of 22 and of degrees. Now, let us see still a beautiful method of finding the trigonometric ratios of half angles. 
let us consider a 30 degrees, 60 degrees triangle. I am finding to trigonometric axis of 15 degrees now. So let this is 30 degrees, 90 degrees. Let the triangle be some ABC. So we know the sides are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So let us assume the sides themselves be 1 and root 3 and 2. See, these are a beautiful construction. I am extending BA. to D is such that AD will be equal to AC. Now joining DC, so these two angles must be equal because it is an isosceles triangle and this exterior angle is 30 degrees. 30 degrees is the sum of these two angles. So each angle must be equal to 15 degrees and 15 degrees. Now again you see the side AC, the side AD must be equal to AC. That's what our construction. So this is 2 meters, 2 units. Now in that bigger triangle DBC, the angle D is 15 degrees. So I can write tan 15 value. Opposite side is 1, by adjacent side is 2 plus root 3, or by rationalizing it, you will get easily 2 minus root 3. Now, how to find the trigonometric ratio of uh, half of 15 degrees? The simple idea is whatever is the value of uh, DC, this by the same length, uh, it has to be extended. Right? The screen is not sufficient, but understand it. Some lattice is to extend it to some E, suppose, so that uh, DE is equal to DC. So, what is DC value first? DC value is applying Pythagoras theorem to BD and BC, I can get that is root of BD square plus BC square. That is root of 2 plus root 3 whole square plus 1. So D and DC both are same. It is root of 2 plus root 3 whole square plus 1. So I make a height is extended so that this and this are equal. So if you join again E and C. Okay. What is this angle? This angle and this angle must be equal. This angle and this angle must be equal because DC equal to D and 15 degrees is the, this 15 degrees is the exterior angle of those two angles. So each must be equal half of 15 degrees that is seven and a half degrees and seven and a half degrees. Now I am writing again. Let me write cot 7 and half now. Cot 7 and half is simply B by BC. BC is 1. So it is B itself. B value I may write BD plus D. So BD value is 2 plus root 3. And D value is root of D and DC are same root of 2 plus root 3 whole square plus 1. So this is what you are called 7 and a half degrees. Again, half of 7 and a half degrees we can similarly find by extending this one. Right. So this is 
so these are the different uh, simple geometrical methods to find the trigonometric ratios of half angles knowing the trigonometric ratios of one angle so in my next video i shall show how to find the trigonometric ratios of 18 degrees 36 degrees 50 54 degrees multiples of 18 purely using geometry and geometry basis without using sin 2 theta sin 3 theta cos theta formulas hope you liked this video thank you